Attention to any DJs listening. Here we go. Sit your ass down and take notes. Because the man is on the turntables. DJ Rubo. So I'm going to be doing a series on getting your music, setting your music up. I'm going to do some comparisons between uh, Tractor and Serato. I'm going to show you uh, the hardware that I actually have and uh, take you from the beginning all the way up to actually DJing uh, with your hardware and the music that we procure. So the very first step obviously is getting your music and uh, I'm sure lots of people can go out there and say okay well I know there are places that are not legal to get music uh, I don't recommend that. Uh, a couple of reasons. One, um, the quality of the music uh, can be terrible. I don't know how somebody's encoded it and um, you know, obviously outside of the fact that it's just not uh, right, um, the quality of the music can be terrible. The other thing too is um, I think the amount of music is overwhelming. You know, if I were a new DJ, you know, I'm going to show you some places where you can get started with some music. I would uh, find a hundred tracks, maybe, maybe even 50 tracks, and I will show you how to set them up, and then I would practice. Um, yes, there are places where you can, if you look hard enough, I guess, you can find lots of music. Uh, but that's not going to make you uh, a better DJ. Uh, one of the things that you know makes a DJ great is actually knowing your music. So if you uh, download your tracks individually, you work on your tracks individually, and you practice with your tracks individually, you are going to actually know the music, which is in turn going to make you a better, a much much better DJ. Than just going out, downloading a ton of crap, and uh, then trying to go out and start to DJ. The other thing too is obviously you. I mean, people want to get paid, so uh, you want to make sure that you go and get music uh, legally to make sure that uh, that the people that make the music are actually properly getting paid. So the that all uh, aside. It's uh, where can you get music? Well, a couple places. One, you can join up with different uh, DJ pools. Uh, pool basically allows you to download music as opposed to going to someplace like iTunes, uh, which you know you can totally and absolutely do that. And on occasion, when I can't find music that I I like or that I'm interested in, you know I will still go to iTunes and, uh, and download music that way. But an easier way is to use a DJ pool. And I have a couple of them uh, posted. I am a member of Zip DJ, which is a DJ pool which has all different kinds of music. And essentially the DJ pool lets you uh, select multiple tracks and then download them. And you get to do this uh, basically for a monthly fee as opposed to some place like iTunes, which um, you know you have to pay for music or songs or MP3s individually, so it uh, makes a lot more economical sense, and um, you know you can get a, a lot of, of good music, especially the latest stuff, um, a lot cheaper than, than having to go out and, and buy each individual one. It's still not necessarily cheap. Um, but it's a great way. So I am a member of Zip DJ. So this is a service that I use. Uh, I'm a huge fan of DJ City. They have uh, great, uh, the latest music. They have great remixes if you're into remixes and a really nice selection. One nice thing about DJ City is if you're a Serato user, uh, at least the last time I was, I was a member of this, um, 
they had the first key or the first cue point, which we'll talk about later, uh, set up in um, in the music or in the MP3. So you could literally, you know, if you really wanted to um, DJ without you know setting up your music and setting up cue points, at least gives you the first you know downbeat of uh, each song. I'm not sure if it does the keys. Uh, next up, if you want to do video, there's a site called Video Tools, uh, and I've been a member of this. I believe this is like $20 uh, a month. This gives you not only MP3s, but also gives you video as well. I don't really DJ with video, although I have, ac although I have access or the ability to do that within Tractor. I have not spent much time doing that, although um, maybe I'll do a series here shortly and uh, see how this works. But this is also a great, um, a great service. So there's Video Tools 2.0, and uh, I'll highlight that. And then if um, the other place is Beatport, this was probably before I joined a DJ pool. This was the first place that I would go to download songs. And uh, if I had a new gig, um, I might come here, you know, download 25 or 30 new songs for uh, an hour set and, um, you know, prepare the songs. I have some that are already kind of queued up. Um, I'm going to do a separate video just on Beatport and the interface and looking for songs. Um, I think they have, uh, it's been about a year probably since I've come here, and it looks like there's a lot of new stuff. There's stems, so if you're a tractor user, you can leverage this. So I'm going to do a separate video on Beatport and the interface and looking for songs. Um, but if you're in a, you know, if you can't find your song as part of your pool, then this is also a great place. And then lastly, obviously, is iTunes. So I am uh, just going to log in very quickly. And this is pretty standard um, once we do log in. And basically, I'm waiting for this. Yeah. So, um, you know, once a week, I probably log into Zip DJ um, to see what the top songs are. Over here, they show you the top downloads, so you can see what everybody else is downloading. Then you can also do it by genre. And in another video, I kind of say, you know, I, uh, you know, every three to six months my uh, listening habits change you know a couple years ago i was huge into trap well, let's actually see what they got here even though it's kind of loud um so i like that actually so i'm going to download that you can see they typically have the nice thing about DJ pools also is they have uh, different types of the same song. So they have clean versions, dirty versions, DJ, DJ intros, which typically I will do that. Um, in this case, it looks like they also have instrumental and an acapella. So I will, I'm going to grab a couple of these. I'm gonna, I want the acapella, I want the instrumental, and um, I typically do the clean versions mostly because you know sometimes I'm DJing with uh, people that um, you know uh, <laughs> they don't always want to hear the dirty version and uh, so I will do that anyway I'm gonna wrap this particular uh, video up so you can see the places some easy places that you can go. I will put links to the places I've suggested in here. 
And this is part one, getting the music. Cheers. <laughs>